I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy in these uncertain times. Thank you for viewing our Culture Building During Distance Learning presentation, Part 1, the Expect Respect Initiative. During this time together, we will review one of the district's culture and climate initiatives and highlight activities that may be used at home. Remember, there are many strategies used at school that you may also use at home to support your child. In the Student Code of Conduct, there is a complete list of expectations. However, here we would like to share a few of the expectations that we have as a district. Everyone will give respect. This includes not only students, but staff and administrators. Everyone is expected to abide by the code of conduct. Students will share with an adult if they are being bullied or harassed, or if they know of someone else being bullied or harassed. All interactions between parents, students, school staff, and other constituents will be positive and respectful. And finally, students will feel respected and safe in the school environment. We believe all of these expectations will lead to improved culture and climate within the school community and in life. Let's take a look at the culture building initiative Expect Respect. Through the Expect Respect initiative, students study a character trait each month to promote mutual respect. The 10 character traits within Expect Respect have been responsibility, respect, kindness, generosity, citizenship, self-control, honesty, and compassion. During the month of May, we will focus on cooperation, and in June, we will focus on acceptance. The activities on the next two slides will help you continue to instill these character traits in your child. This will also support community building and respect. As you know, your family is the most important team that you will ever work with. Review the following list with your child to promote cooperation within the family. To be successful, everyone in the family needs to respect each other, each other's space and belongings, listen to each other, learn how to work out problems without fighting each other, communicate well so that everyone knows what is happening, spend time together as a family, celebrate each other's successes and support each other through the sad times, learn to share. Here are a few examples of activities that may be done at home that encourage cooperation. The first is cooking. Small group cooking activities are a fun way to divide work and practice skills. Have a written or pictorial recipe with ingredients and steps presented in order. Assign roles to each child, such as measuring the flour, counting the correct number of eggs, pouring the milk, greasing the pan, and stirring. Children have to wait their turn, follow directions, and share responsibility for creating something they can later enjoy. Games is the second. Teamwork in the home can instill cooperation. Activities like playing games together in teams, cleaning up together to beat a timer, or simply building puzzles together enables children to learn how to work together. And the last is art. Art projects such as murals and collages provide an opportunity for dividing work and creating a lasting reminder of cooperation. Select a theme and have children individually look for specific pictures and magazines for the larger project. For example, if the goal is to create a community scene, assign roles such as drawing streets, cutting out pictures of buildings, locating pictures of community helpers, and drawing trees. The character trait for June is acceptance. Acceptance is embracing others as they are. Let's review a few suggestions for promoting acceptance in children. The first, make your child feel special, safe, and loved. Create learning opportunities about new places, people, and cultures. Expose your child to a variety of perspectives through books, songs, food, and cultural events and celebrations. Intervene when you hear or see intolerant behavior. Don't be punitive. 
help your child learn healthier ways to interact with others. And the last, model tolerance and respect. Your child will learn to reach out and be sensitive and respectful of others by watching how you discuss, relate to, and value other people. Here are a few examples of activities that may be done at home that encourage acceptance. The first is diversity. Show your child everyday photographs of people of varying ethnicities, disabilities, and so on. Give your child the opportunity to identify what they see as different and discuss what the difference is and why they see it this way. This activity can help your child identify with different groups of people and help decrease negative stereotypes that may exist. The next is love yourself. Accepting others starts with accepting ourselves. Therefore, your child must learn to embrace his or her body and not make it a target for criticism. Make it clear that the way one looks is not and should not be the measure of self-worth. While it is healthy to want improvement and growth, we should not want to change in order to be worthy of love or happiness. Discuss with your child the traits they love about themselves. And the last is family heritage. Talk to your child about the diversity within your family. Have them talk to some of their family members that may be able to share stories of diversity in order to foster acceptance. Continuing to focus on the Expect Respect initiative will allow your child to feel connected to their school while you reinforce character development at home. If during this time of distance learning, you or your child need additional support to help cope, please contact our mental health support line at 1-833-466-3978. My hope is that the activities shared will help enhance your child's ability to cooperate and show acceptance to others. Your family's safety and health are our district's main concern. I encourage you to have fun and enjoy the extra time you have with your child. We hope to see you back for part two, Calm Classroom.